Hi everyone, welcome to another Teaching Kitchen at Home. My name is Christiana, I'm a registered dietitian and wellness manager with Eurest at United Health Group. Today's cooking class is all about seasonal cooking with tomatoes. Tomatoes are in season here in September and we're gonna actually do three recipes today featuring different cultural takes on the tomato. I'm going to break this class up into three parts, so you'll be able to watch the videos um, in a different order if you like. Alright, let's get cooking. Alright, we're going to get started cooking our paella. Today we're making a vegetarian paella. Um, a paella is a traditional dish to Spain. Um, it's often cooked on cities that are coastal. It's a rice-based dish and you'll see on the beach in Spain they have these huge pots where they toss in rice and tomatoes and peppers and veggies and fresh seafood straight from the ocean. I studied abroad in Spain um, when I was in college and one of my favorite things was uh, trying different paellas. So today instead of seafood we're going to do a vegetarian paella. All right we're gonna get our paella cooking. So I'm using my cast iron skillet today. You can also use a paella pan if you have one. Um, but the key is to get your pan really, really hot. Uh, you can see there's some wisps of white smoke coming up from our pan, so we're good to go. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil here. And then the key to a good paella is something called a sofrito. And a sofrito is essentially a mix of green bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes. We're gonna add the onions in first to get them um, sauteing. And you're gonna saute your onions for a couple of minutes. And then you're going to add in one chopped green bell pepper. That's right. And just a fun nutritional fact, when you see the different colors of bell peppers in the grocery store, the green, yellow, orange, and red, they are just at different stages of ripeness. So a green bell pepper is less ripe than a red bell pepper. So that's why a red bell pepper tastes sweeter, it's riper, and the, the vegetable has had a chance for those sugars to accumulate. Gonna add a pinch of salt. We're also gonna add some minced garlic. All right, now we're gonna add in our smoked paprika. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more oil in the pan as well because herbs and spices, because spices are fat soluble, which means that they like oil to bring out their flavor and aroma. You can find smoked paprika in most grocery stores. If not, look online at um, like a specialty store. It's really a key ingredient in paella to give it that traditional Spanish flavor. One um, ingredient that's a spice that's not in this dish today is saffron. So saffron's a very traditional spice to Spanish cooking, um, but it's a very expensive and I left it out. It's very hard for me to find and I just felt like what home cook on a regular weeknight is gonna use saffron. So we mixed that. Oh, that smells so good. There's nothing like smoked paprika. The tomatoes that we're using for this recipe are actually fresh Roma tomatoes that I have chopped up for you. Um, you can use diced canned tomatoes, absolutely fine, but because tomatoes are in season, we're using the Roma tomatoes. We're just going to add these right in, and what's happening is the tomatoes are actually doing something called deglazing. Another ingredient we're going to add for some flavor boosting here is our tomato paste. And it adds a really richness of flavor because it's really 
rich in something called umami. And umami is that savory flavor that we get from tomatoes and mushrooms, cheese, fermented foods. I'm gonna add that right in. It's about a tablespoon. This sofrito is really coming down. It's been about five minutes and it's time to add our rice. This is called technically bomba rice. It's a short grain um, white rice. Today we're using arborio rice. It's a lot easier to find in the grocery store. You can use brown rice in paellas, but um, brown rice takes a lot longer to cook, so I went with the white rice. We're actually going to move the sofrito to one half of our pan, and then we're gonna add our rice in. I'm gonna stir all that together. You want to coat the rice with the sofrito. You'll see some recipes for paella where um, they actually brown the rice first and then add in sofrito that's been pre-made. But for me, I really wanted to keep this to be a one-pot meal, so that's why I'm doing it. So we're gonna, I sort of press the rice down into the pan here. We're gonna let this cook just for a couple of minutes so the rice can kind of crisp up a little bit. Into our pan, we're going to add our cooking liquid. We're using water today. You can also use veg stock or chicken stock. Just be mindful of the sodium level so you wanna look for low sodium versions of those items. And we're gonna add in our lentils. Lentils are really delicious. I love them. These are French green lentils. Um, they are a really good source of plant-based protein. So that's gonna add some protein to this dish. Give that a stir. All right. One thing that's really important in paella is something called soparat. And soparat is that crustiness at the bottom of the pan when the uh, tomato caramelizes and that uh, rice gets nice and crispy. We're gonna let it simmer for just a couple minutes on the stove top here, and then I'm actually gonna put it in the oven. We've got a nice, bubbling, simmering going on our paella. I'm gonna give it one more stir just to incorporate everything. And then I'm gonna pop this into the oven. Our paella is browning really nicely in the oven. And I'm gonna add a couple of tomato slices and our artichokes. It's kind of nestled right in there into the top of the paella as it finishes baking. Our paella has come out of the oven, took about 20 minutes, and we are gonna let it cool for a few more minutes before we dig in. All right, it's time to enjoy our paella. Dig in here. Now again, what I'm looking for is a nice crust of that soap wrapped on the bottom of my pan here. Got a little artichoke, some rice, some lentils. Mmm. Really well cooked. The rice is actually perfectly cooked. It's not too crispy, but not soft. So that's a really good amount of liquid. The lentils also cooked really well, and it's got a really nice, smoky, tomatoey flavor. All right. Well, I hope I was able to transport you to Spain a little bit with this vegetarian paella with lentils and artichokes today. I'm so happy you joined me, and I'll see you for the next one.